Okay, let's move on to the support class. The support class is the shotgun and welding class. I love the support class. Support class is my favorite character just because it's so versatile. With this guy, you can wipe out trash and you can take on the scrakes and flesh pounds. Make sure you're welding if it's part of the plan. And yeah, don't think because you're uh, an up close personal kind of guy, you've got a lot of health. Uh, you, you you can drop quickly as well. So um, just just be careful because you are in a very vulnerable position. Okay, next class, Firebug. Firebug, along with the Commando, is king of trash, the weak enemies. They can wipe out so many weak enemies. They're actually quite good for crisping up the tougher enemies as well. Again, that doesn't mean randomly fire and scrapes and flesh pound. What that means is if there's a, a sharpshooter misses a shot and that flesh pound is running towards your team, yeah, toast him up because that will make everyone else do more damage to them. Commando, basically the same as Firebug, focus on the trash. A note for people playing with the Commando, unless a stalker, those are the invisible ladies, unless a stalker is chewing your face off, don't shoot at it because the Commando needs to kill those things to level up. So, I don't know, it's just um, courtesy, it's just being nice, let them get the stalkers. Demolitions, another one of my favourite classes. These guys are really good at killing the trash, but in a different way from the firebug and commando. Don't, it is really not economical to uh, fire one grenade to kill one enemy. So they should, it's, it's, it's a good idea to get some higher ground. Jump on top of a car, jump on top of a bathtub, jump on top of anything, jump on top of another player. Um, to get a wee bit of height so you can kind of spot out the groups of trash. That is when this class becomes so fun, especially when you combine it with um, the mutator to show kills. Like, I've got the most amount of kills in one shot with the demolitions. If you perfectly um, put a grenade in the middle of a group, you're going to wipe that group out. It's such a fun class to play. They're also really good at tackling the tougher enemies. Um, see, uh, if you fling a couple of grenades, then you... Um, empty your uh, six barrel uh, grenade launcher into a flesh pound, you can take it down. Um, again, this is where the um, player kill mutator comes in handy because it tells you when you've killed an enemy. Because of the smoke, you might be f firing unnecessarily at an already dead flesh pound. Talking about smoke, really try and be conscientious with, with the demo class. There's no point in um, firing at enemies so close to your team, then they get a big smoke cloud, they can't see, no one can see, and all of a sudden you're dead. So try, try and go for mid to long range and try and be conscientious. Again, as I said before, whack a lever action on this guy to um, deal with people creeping up behind you. Okay, finally, the Berserker. Um, Berserker's probably my least favourite class, because I'm bad with it. Don't get me wrong, the Berserker is a really important and powerful class, it's just I'm not the best at it. Um, I do have some tips just watching other players that really rock the class. Um, I'd probably recommend getting a, a katana and a lever action rifle. Another reason why the Berserker is so difficult is because the things are so expensive. The Berserker can support, support the team in numerous ways. It can, if a team's holding up somewhere, the Berserker can still run about the map um, just trying to divide the enemy forces of it, as it were. Because the clots can't grab him, so he can just run about and pretty much... Uh, it's the, probably next to the Medic, it's the easiest class just in terms of pure survival. A great pairing of classes is the Berserker and the Medic, because this will benefit them both greatly. The Berserker's in the front line, he's going to be taking a lot of damage, and that is great if he's got a Medic friend just uh, healing him up constantly. It'll level you both up in no time. The Medic can also shoot those pesky crawlers um, that the Berserker would be wasting his time dealing with. On closing, a few points I've probably forgot to mention. Um, so the husks, the dude that the dudes that fire fire at you. Whoa, great sentence. The dudes that fire fire at you. It's always best to jump. So see if you're running away from one, just jump like crazy. You can kind of time the jump um, in terms of uh, the vault like audio because he'll make it the the shot will make a noise. Then you kind of know roughly when to jump. But if there's so many things happening, if your teammates are screaming in your ear and there's so many other noises because things are chewing at you, just continually bunny hop your way out till you 
uh, get round a corner because at the harder difficulty levels uh, these guys are such a pain. Uh, finally, I'd say try and learn the proper names uh, to the enemies. This won't take you too much time, to be honest, and it's just something that kind of happens subconsciously. It's really uh, a good idea, though, because it's great to say, like, Oh my god, please help, or there's nine Gorfas approaching the rear. Hmm, that sounds sexy. But yeah, it's good to learn the names of the enemies, just so you can keep your team in the know and just inform them of enemy movements. Okay, this has been my beginner tips for killing floor. If you liked it, um, you know, share it with friends, share it with new people, uh, give me a comment as well. If you think I'm wrong, if you think you could improve this kind of beginner's guide, please leave a comment, because that's how we all get better. I mean, this, I don't profess to having worked any of this out on my own. It's from watching other people, it's from continually dying, continually building up strategies, thinking of strategies, bouncing up ideas off other people. So none of this is original. This is just to give you a wee helping hand, because I remember when I started out and I was kind of at a loss with Killing Floor in general. And that's not to say it's not enjoyable at first, because it really is. That Part of the enjoyability of the game is the discovery you get out of it, just learning all these things as you go along. But if you're new to this game and Scrakes continually demolish you, I hope this guide's been useful. Um, I may make a guide, like a, a guide for a level 1 in every class to defeat normal, that m or solo, that might be a help. So if you think that's something you might be interested in, let me know. I'm going to close by saying if you enjoyed this at all, it would be great if you could check out some of my other videos. By and large, I make commentaries uh, with an emphasis on the funnies. Um, I play Killing Floor and a whole host of other games. So uh, if you enjoyed this, go on, jump on over, give some of my videos another watch. Thank you very much. Uh, keep killing.